Hi everyone, Agnes here. Now, I had a post put up on the community tab asking you what you want to hear. So I'm going to answer some more of these questions for you. The first one, Glaresaurus1832, health please. I'm at my wits end with a chronic problem and your last video regarding chronic health issues and resolving them gave me hope there might be a better solution. Now, there is a brand new health meditation for those of you experiencing this. And I did a voice only and a music version, depending on what you prefer. So I would suggest you practice that and you practice it regularly, three to four times a week. Okay. And that is about going within and sending love to the body. It is what I did when I had a tumor years ago. So can I suggest you have a look at that, my lovely, to help yourself? Okay. Now, Lisa, you asked a video on how to manifest freedom from strict parents will be great too. I hope it's a good video idea. You are my inspiration. Hi, Lisa. Well, what I would suggest with that is that you learn some boundaries. Now, when we are children, we have to put up with our parents and their strict boundaries. But as we get to be adults, we have to try and change something and make it different for ourselves. So if you want to have freedom from parents, you have to be more adult and set boundaries. Now, the one thing I would say is if you are living under their roof and you don't have any money, a bit difficult to do so because you are dependent and reliant on them. But what I would suggest then is to start to become financially independent first to then be able to step away and make decisions for yourself. Whatever your parents are doing, whatever they decide, they cannot impose it on you unless you yourself allows it. So. To obtain freedom from strict parents, you have to create your own sense of freedom by not allowing people to impose their strictness on you. Now, is that easy in certain cultures? No, it's not. Is it easier in some cultures? Yes, it is. But as you begin to mature, as you begin to become more adult, as you begin to be more independent, these are the, some of the things that you need to learn and develop within yourself and you can take that towards your work, towards your family, towards your loved one. It doesn't matter who it is that's imposing things. This is all something that needs to begin with you. OK, so you can practice too. I am free. I am free. I'm free doing the internal work. But you also need to, I think, have some boundaries and learn some self, let's say, where you do the self work as in you might need to have some conversations that might be a little bit more confrontational and that's part of being an adult and to be able to step away even when people don't like you to be okay with that so that's a part of the process too lisa good question now Cancerian love 262 you said meditation when you haven't had closure well I've decided to do more of an answering of your question than a meditation my lovely because I think it will benefit others for for me to read this out okay now you've said my mother didn't want me and regularly said so my dad abandoned my siblings and I and left us with a drunk verbally and physically abusive mother my ex, who I love, still wholeheartedly has moved to live with a woman who lied about being married when he met her and I would have given him my world, but he wouldn't give me hardly anything in return. He's doing for her what he didn't do for me. Why does no one want me? I struggle and I can't get answers, as can't get answers. Okay, that is incredibly difficult, what you've experienced, and it is the work that needs to be done. What do I mean by that? When we were abandoned, when we weren't loved, it is very important to do the self-love work and do it a lot because whatever we had in childhood, 
that is our blueprint but it doesn't mean to be that it has to be who we are today what's happening is the past recreates itself until we learn to offload our inner child pain hurt abandonment all these things so as a suggestion cancerian love 262 i would do some self-love meditations daily about five days a week i would also work on the inner child if you go to the youtube search bar put in my name inner child and watch all the discussions and do the meditations on the inner child i think that would be of great benefit to you you can do that in your own time and work on the self so you're saying why does no one want me because you are reinfecting yourself with what happened back then and of course you would be until you start to offload it this is something that many of us have gone through at in varying degrees of course and it is still the same that applies for everyone we need to go back and deal with that what happened back there and the body is like a suitcase and it is carrying our old emotions and because of that we attract people that match what often happened in our childhood and it is incredibly challenging difficult painful and causes a lot of suffering so if you can begin to work on i'm not wanted nobody wants me i'm not loved i am abandoned etc etc and let out those old emotions from childhood then it will change what's happening today but you have to clean this up I'd love to tell you you could do it an easier way, but that is the work that needs to be done. Okay. So try that, start with that. And the meditations I would suggest is not about having closure, but meditations to do the love work within you. You have to start to love yourself, irregardless of what they have done they were who they were they obviously from what you've said did a very poor job and i'm sorry to hear you've been through that and now you're living unfortunately some unpleasant experiences again so make some time for this very important lots of love everyone that's it for today